love the the tulips, right? Yeah. They're so pretty. Now I can I feel like I can appreciate it a little bit more now that the Christmas tree is gone. How dare you speak ill of my Christmas but tree? But it does seem like spring vibes now. Yes. A little bit more. Yes, so yes. So I'm living for it. It's quite nice. Yes, I wish yes. you had done a heart shape for like sweetheart, like for. Like sweetheart night? You Dang. Know, night. Dude. I'm just saying. No quieres nada simple. Yeah. Welcome back, B Plessy. Family. Yo, fam. Okay, so we are back in beautiful Disneyland. The castle somewhere behind me, actually. But we're here because there's new seasonal treats that we got to go ahead and eat Ooh. before the lunar event actually kicks in. And then we forget about that, all the additional goodies to eat. So right now, we're going to try to tackle as many as we can here at Disneyland. And I'll tell you right now, fam, when you get into the park, you need to start ordering these items because they sell out quick. Mobile order. Yes, ASAP, yes, yes, guys. yes. It's a big, big thing. Yes. But with that said, fam, let's get ready because we're hungry. So let's <laughs> roll. Let's go. First up is actually a delicious thirst quenching drink from the Red Rose Tavern. Well, we are so excited to try this just because a magically consumed spoke really highly about this tape. Oh, they said it's very addicting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Let's try we'll see. It. Thank you. There you go. Oh, Thank perfect. You. Dude, this looks so yummy. That looks Amazing. Okay, let's Whoa. find a spot. Okay, fam. So first up is the strawberry sweetheart tea, which has frozen golden peak tea flavored with lemon and strawberry for six forty nine. So we are gonna see, guys, six forty nine for a tea, but it is like a slushy flavor. It's not like liquid, so that's that's nice actually. It actually looks perfect to like have like after doing that green mile walk. For you know, real. The, the question is, you know, is it worth like the, the hike all the way to the very back end of the park to go ahead and get it? So we're going to find out. Okay, cheers at home. Let's go. Ooh, that is so refreshing. I love the flavors, you guys. The strawberry comes through. It's predominantly more strawberry, but you do get a kick of the lemon at the end, but it's not like super sour. I love this tea, you guys. It is so good, and I think Magically Consumed did not overhype it. I think this tea definitely delivered here at the Red Rose Tavern. Nice. Where's Miguelito? Right? We, we seen demand Miguelito to come out here. It's been a minute. Other than like um, Halloween time. Right? He should be out here. He should. I don't see him A little often. meet and greet wouldn't harm anyone. <laughs> All right, squad, so the Stage Door Cafe is where the next treat actually hails from. So let's go ahead and see Yay. what my sweet tooth is gonna get. <laughs> strawberry cheesecake funnel cake topped with strawberry sauce, cheesecake bites, cream cheese drizzle, Ooh. whipped cream, and sprinkles. Ooh. If that doesn't scream I love you, I don't know what does. <laughs> mm, it smells so good. Bon appetit, Eli. Yeah, now this one is again like here at the stagecoach. Not to be confused with the one that's with ice cream over at the Hungry Bear, which we gotta try, but this looks so this good. This looks appetizing and it's warm. <sighs> Perfect on this chilly day. Yes. Que lo parte, que lo parte. Now I will sacrifice myself. Normally I like tearing into funnel cakes with just like bare hands. I like eating like what? With, like, my hands. I do, I do, but I'll, I'll be Savage. proper. I'll be, yeah. Straight savage, but I'll be proper, proper. All right, you could. Oh, it's crispy. You could hear it. I love that. I'm already eating with my ears, fam. Okay. Mm, mm. And I love waiting just like a few, like a, maybe like a minute or two after picking it up, just because I want that strawberry like sauce to like really ooze into the funnel cake. You know, that way you get every like like mouthful like a full of strawberry flavor. So here we go. Pa arriba, pa abajo, pa el centro, pa dentro. It's pretty much what you'd get at any fair, you know, during the summer. You can either go chocolate or go strawberries. I prefer going strawberries at any like a, at the OC fair, LA fair, actually the date fair. Oh my gosh, every fair that we can get to. But this is good. This is definitely perfect. Now what makes it nice is that the whipped cream, it's, it's chill enough that goes ahead and like lays over on it and brings a, a cool element to to the funnel cake. But it doesn't freeze the funnel cake like ice cream does. So it doesn't make um, your funnel cake like stodgy. But this is good. This definitely hits the spot. It's a shame that Becky can't have some of this, but you know what? It's definitely meant for sharing. Actually, after I've been eating this for a while, this got really, really good. Like, super good. And it's because of the strawberries. Like, it does remind me of eating, like, 
fresas con crema or like frozen strawberries which are one of my favorite things to like eat so i'm like okay like i do see why it's like rated so high by magically consumed i'm like right? okay, yeah like, it's, it's very sweet and also the tartness it's great it's a great refresher i love the strawberries man it is so good mm -hmm. And there goes someone's ears. <laughs> Traumatized. R.I.P. the ears. <laughs> Alright fam, so sometimes you gotta get off the rock to go ahead and enjoy the delicious eats. And we're gonna go get something at Batu. Ooh, more strawberries. Right? Why does it feel like everything this season is strawberries? Don't get me wrong. But I mean, Valentine's Day. I get it. It's, it's strawberry season. I, I get it. I just want something else. Not just yeah. strawberry with strawberry with strawberry. By the way, if you get the funnel cake and you're unable to share it, it's a lot of sugar. And this is coming from a person who loves sugar. Like, you have seen me eat snack after snack after snack and <laughs> cake and candy and like power through. That thing gave me like a sugar buzz, like in a Whoa. weird way. I might end up falling asleep somewhere there. <laughs> <laughs> Call it my shot. To a snack. A snack. Snacks, snack. more snacks. So we're here for the Outpost popcorn mix. Something seasonal, something delicious. Mm -hmm. Let's see if they have any left in stock. Ooh, and it's really good, yeah? It smells so good. Yeah. I remember they had that Tatooine hand pie. We're probably gonna get that for you, right? Yeah, let's get it. Give me one okay. sec, give me one sec. I'm not gonna lie. I was worried about it. Worried? Why were you worried? Okay, I'm gonna let you enjoy that what? first, because I'm curious. Does that taste like strawberries? Okay. And this potato pie, like, oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Give it's me a second. It's all about the yogurt sauce right there. That's what I want to try. Yogurt sauce? Yes. Okay, here we go, you guys. Okay. So the strawberry banana mm. popcorn. So that's mm -hmm. the seasonal flavor right now. Now this is popped in coconut oil. So it does smell like very sweet, like not your typical buttery flavors. Okay. So I'm excited, guys. Like it, it looks bright. It looks colorful. Like check that out now you had said that this actually you thought it was hot cheeto like fried when i saw like it pop, online popcorn. i thought it was red and i thought it was hot cheetos which it would have been like my dream come true but strawberries is not like far behind so i'm not that mad okay okay mm. oh dang this is so good what yes no mm -hmm. mm -mm. yes it is. Drop it in the comments down below. Is she faking it or is that for real? Like, okay, if I'm faking it, all this bag is mine. The banana. Okay, the strawberry is such a, it's a nice strawberry, but I really love the banana popcorn, surprisingly. It tastes like very sweet. You know you're eating banana and then you get the, the really nice texture of the popcorn. So it's like a sweet glaze on top of the popcorn. It tastes delicious that is a unique kettle corn experience yes like, type of situation. i, I yeah. really love this this is completely worth it i know it's like not the biggest bag but you are paying for like quality and then the seasonal flavor Something on top unique. of that it's so good now always a tip here when it comes to the popcorn at this stand you always have to eat it mixed it's meant to eat together not like individually so that is right there to have a ratatouille moment mm, with the flavors that crunch i'm so happy yeah. i'm happy okay good so the potato pie is what i really want to try it was the last one fam and usually that's how it comes down when when we get down here because of how good things are things will sell out throughout the day like i couldn't believe that over at the stagecoach they were out of fish everything and chips today. has been selling out honestly but it's just because disneyland has a lot of good food so let's open this one up right here if you can take a look inside for that filling look at that with the chickpeas all oh, the potatoes this looks good. You know, it's very uh, similar to like an, uh, I want to say una arepa, you know, and, and cultura latina, but this is all like pretty much like, oh my gosh. I'm pretty much eating Indian or Greek food. Like it's so good. That filling of the vegetables with the chicken, it's amazing. You do get a little bit of an earthy taste, which is phenomenal because the sauce that they have it paired with, and especially with the Greek sauce or the sort of like yogurt sauce, I'm sorry. It's so good. It cools it down because that way the, the potato cake isn't too hot for you to, you know, burn your taste buds on it. But it cools you down. It keeps you coming in back and more for dipping. And it's like the perfect amount to just go ahead and like double dunk your vessel in it. So this is definitely a must. A must get, fam. This is a, definitely a sleeper. You gotta go to the edge of the galaxy for it, right? Mm -hmm. It's that good. So good. Woo. Okay. What? There are some noodles to try here. <laughs> Highly recommended. 
I'm excited, okay. So I love the fact that, you know, like when you get to go ahead and try like new foods, you're excited for it. But when it comes recommended with like by a friend, I'm even more excited. Ooh. So again, imagine the consumer went ahead and like spoke highly about the noodles here. So I gotta try them. I gotta try them. They oh. said Korean barbecue. So it's we're gonna, we're profile. gonna see, yeah, we're gonna see if it's true. Mm -hmm. The Dubok chili noodles, spiced parpadel noodles and ginger ground pork with Brussels sprout sleeves and shredded cabbage. Oh my gosh. This is a feast for the eyes for sure. Dude, that looks amazing and it smells even better. You know what I always love about this place is the dishes. Like it's really hard not to walk away with it. Dude, those right? are like some heavy duty dishes These and they keep fire. yeah, they keep your meal pretty warm. So it's like it's so oh, perfection. Okay. So I'm curious to know. All right, so the flavor profile we were told is that it'll remind us of Korean barbecue. Now I do see the minced meat already in there. I see the cabbage. I'm gonna go ahead and just get a little bit of everything, including those noodles. Let's see here. These are really good. Now, I, when it said chili, I was thinking like high heat level. Y'all know, y'all know from our heat lord days that we love spicy. But this is the right amount of spicy. The one that hits on the back of the throat, a little bit on, on, on top of the roof of your mouth where you're almost about to cough, but it's really good. And what's gonna be great about this is that it's gonna open up the, the pores, if you will, you know what I mean? It's gonna get, yeah, I'm gonna be like sweating in a little bit, but it is good. <laughs> the fact, the fact that you get also that red cabbage, I think that's what really ties in, you know, anytime that you have like Asian food, you know, the cabbage, the bok choy, like all these like, elements that we normally don't have in like regular American dishes or Mexican dishes. It really pairs well with, with it and the sauces. But this is so good, so hearty of a meal. It's definitely Asian fusion. Mm, it smells so good. And it is good. I really wish it was a, was a gluten-free option. Yeah. I mean, there are a lot of noodles that can't be made that way. And it's a bummer because everyone should be able to go ahead and have something this tasty and something this delicious. It is a little bit pricier than your average item but you're also getting a quality meal here. Something delicious that if you've like needed something to go ahead and really enjoy, something that makes you feel like you've traveled to a distant, like far off galaxy, this definitely feels that. This is almost, what, what makes it nice is that, you know, you can almost recognize this as an Italian dish from afar, but as you taste it, you know, it's those flavors uh, uh, of, the, uh, the southern east that you're like oh okay this is definitely an asian profile of food and it's so good that just kind of it kind of kicks in that interest of uh of becoming a foodie you know so salute three i left my popcorn no i put it in my bag oh right that would be so scary if she left her popcorn oh my gosh we traveled to the edge of the galaxy to go ahead and get that delicious <laughs> popcorn we have tried every single thing that has berries in it that um we're, there, we're gonna try, okay? Let, let's face it. There's some things here that we're like, mm -mm, ice cream and funnel cake just doesn't go. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I, won't, I won't do it. You'll have to like twist my arm in order for me to eat that. But those noodles were delicious and actually I'm pleasantly surprised. But bam, just wanna go ahead and say, you know what? If when you get the chance, mobile order to go ahead and get those like, delicious true. items that you want, even mm -hmm. if it's early in the day, to go ahead and help you uh, as your tip for, you know, those trips here at Disneyland. Yeah, because the items do sell out, fam. Right, so right. you gotta be quick with it. I'm still bewildered that fish and chips sold out today. Like that's wild. And I love fish and chips. <laughs> but, bam, as always, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, smash the notification bell, and we'll catch you in the next adventure right, right there. there.